Well, uh, things are going swimmingly in the championship. We are 18th. And in our last 11 league games, we've won precisely one of those 11. And we haven't won in about eight. So, yeah, things have been pretty horrible off screen. The good news is, we may not have won those games, but we didn't lose them either. We drew them all. And you'll see the goals from those and two more games today against Birmingham and Wolverhampton in a new episode of the Tim Sherwood Challenge. Second to none. Yep, so there we are, 18th place, five points uh, above the relegation zone, and yeah, we've fallen down the table, we were, you know, a good mid-table side, we've fallen down the table, we're not winning enough games, we're not scoring enough goals, so uh, yeah, we need to start winning some games, and hopefully we'll win one today, so I've, it's Birmingham and Wolves, but before those, uh, let's have a look at the goals from the games off screen. First up, it was a trip to Carrow Road, and with seven minutes played, the Canaries took the lead, Pritchard scoring, and it was Norwich 1, Swindon 0. Equaliser came from a free kick 17 minutes in, Anton Rogers knows how to score those, and he did here. 1-1 one, one was how it finished. A good draw away from home. In the eighth minute, uh, in a home game against Swansea, we took the lead, Abika setting up Delfonso, the link-up being one of the few good things about our team at the moment. 22 minutes in, Swansea did score and equalise it. This is a very good Swansea team, and it was Nathan Dyer who scored it. And again, it ended 1-1. Next, we travelled to the DW Stadium to take on Wigan, and 14 minutes in, we took the lead. Jonathan Obika scoring past the goalkeeper, off the post and in. Wigan had two injuries after making changes and finished the game with nine men, but didn't stop them from getting an equaliser in the 75th minute. It was Will Grieg who scored it. And yeah, again, 1-1. One, one. I'm seeing a theme here, are you? Next up, we hosted Sunderland, a team relegated from the Premier League. And uh, Defoe found Fabio Barini, who scored to make it 1-0 with only four minutes on the clock. With Delfonso misfiring as of late, we actually started Luke Norris up front and he rewarded us with his first goal of the season with 17 minutes played. First goal of the season, yes, I did say that. 30 minutes into the game, Sunderland won a penalty, Melis pushing Defoe in the area and Fabio Bruni would take a spot kick to give Sunderland the lead. Fabio Bruni would take the penalty, but Luke McGee made the save. No guesses for ending what the score of this was. Next up, we hosted Nottingham Forest. First chance of the game came as Lansbury had a shot on target. Will Henry was in goal for this. In the 32nd minute, Abika had a shot, but it was a good save by Evertimov in goal. The best chance of the game came as Velios was one on one with Will Henry, but a great save. It was another draw, but this time it was 0 0. Just have a look, look at that. That is just horrible to look at. Our last win was the 4 0 win against Blackburn. Of course, last episode didn't go too well. We lost both of our games and Fulham thrashed us 4-1. So, it's not going too well at the moment. We've had teams meeting saying, you know, you're doing, you're doing okay. You're picking up points, but you're not winning enough games. We're not scoring enough goals. So, yeah, we need to step it up. You know, we've had a lot of injuries. That has been one of the big problems at the moment is there's been a lot of injuries. And there still are, but they're fresh injuries. If we have a look, Anderson, McAllister, Young and Murray are all out. Sean Murray... He's going to be out for, a, well, probably another couple of months or so with his broken foot. David McAllister is a crucial injury, so we won't see him probably for the rest of the season. I don't play him that much anyway. Uh, Philip Anderson, he's going to be back in a couple of weeks or so with his broken shoulder. But uh, we do have our captain, Nathan Thompson, back. He will be playing his first game back today. Uh, McGee missed one game because he had an injury, so we have to play Will Murray, uh, Will Henry rather. He actually did all right. He did quite well. Connor Thomas has returned from his broken ankle. Rogers missed a game or two. Uh, Stanlos White is back. So we've got some of our big players back, but we're still missing Murray, who was a key player last season. Okay, so this is the team we're going to go with against Birmingham. Luke McGee back in goal. Uh, three defenders, Stanlos White, Branko, Thompson his first game back. Yidem, right wing back. James Brophy playing at left wing back, only his second start because Ormond was not doing too much. 
Connor Townsend, the deadline day signing, has done literally nothing. I think he's had one assist. So, yeah, he's not playing. Uh, O'Hara and Thomas in midfield with Meles playing in behind the strikers, Obika and Delfonso. Uh, Norris and Hilton on the bench as striker options. Where are Birmingham in the league table? I think they're around the middle. They are 13th, so they are pretty much smack bang in the middle of the championship table. So, I really want to win this game. We haven't won in so long. Uh, who did Birmingham have then? I went to see Birmingham quite a while ago actually because I, I used to live up there when I was studying. They've got John Spector, they've got Kushak, uh, they've got Michael Morris, a former Charlton defender. See, I remember they used to have guys like Nikola Zigic and uh, they had Joe Hart in goal. Uh, Craig Gardner, who I actually met once um, in the same restaurant. You know, Birmingham have been, you know, they've had, they've got silverware, I remember. 2011, when they won the, uh, the League Cup. Because uh, Arsenal had a collapse at the back, didn't they? And, uh, well, it's Birmingham on the attack here. John Spector keeps it in play. Gleason shot it deflected, and then McGovern with a rebound. We're 1-0 down. We are having all this possession, but we just can't make it count. We can't win games. And again, that shot is deflected, and it fell to McGovern. That's a fortunate goal. They've been lucky there. But we just can't get wins at the moment. Here we go. They're throwing. Andy Yardam to Nathan Thompson. O'Hara. Thompson being hassled but he's found a ball and now it's Jacob Mellis to Thomas a beaker Delfonso on target Kushak stops it Call, uh, throw in for Birmingham Cottrell have <laughs> fuck shit shit so I just punched the table and my light just went off um what else can I use I think I've literally just moved my camera and it's fine so <laughs> I have to leave it like this. So, uh, alright. Anyway, we're 2-0 down. Uh, yay, big wow. We've got a corner here, though. And we won a penalty. So, uh, <coughs> hopefully we'll go into half-time with a goal. Uh, number nine is going to take this, who I believe is a beaker. It is a beaker. And it's straight down the middle, and it's 2-1. And it's a lifeline. Alright, half-time. It is 2-1. You need to do better than this, though. Expect to see a much better showing from you in the second half. Brophy, not done much. Melis and Delfonso, not done much. In fact, all the defenders, apart from Yardin, have been pretty awful. Second half, we'll go into it. And, uh, well, the goal just before half time will have helped. Melis free kick. It's headed clear by Williams. Now it's Melis to O'Hara. Brophy. Sendles White to O'Hara again. Sendles White still. He's moving backwards. You're going the wrong way, mate. This way. That's it. Thomas. Delfonso. Obika. Shoot. Shoot. It's a goal. It's 2 2. I don't remember the last time we scored more than one goal in the game, but we've done it here. We've drawn level, and hopefully we can go on and win this now. Jonathan Obika took his time. Lovely shot. Kushak got a hand to it. Probably should have kept it out. But Obika has saved our skin so far today. Coming up to the hour mark. I'm going to take off Melis. He's done nothing today. We'll bring on Jordan Stewart. Half an hour left to get a goal and win the game. Because I think we can do it. We're doing better now. Much better. 15 minutes left. We've got a throw in. Sohara. Obika. Thomas. Goal. 3-2. 76 minutes played. And we are winning a game. And we've got less than 15 minutes left to hold on to this. 3-2. Went well. The defender there with a tackle probably should have got a foul for that but uh, we got a goal from the end good advantage played by the referee and we're winning a game and there's only about 10 minutes left right we're gonna make Delfonso a defensive forward and we're also we're gonna put Del O'Hara a bit deeper play him as a defend playmaker and we're taking off Brophy and we're bringing on Ormond Otwell going defensive now as well 10 minutes to hold on to this and win our first game in about 8. Branko, good tackle there. Yardim clears it. Here's Obika. He's 1-on-1. One one. Could this be 4-2? It is! And it's a hat-trick for Obika. And now it is game over and you've got to think that is our first win in, a, in quite a while and it's put us back up to 15th place which is where we were at the start of last episode. I think. At the end of last episode. I think at the start we were 12. And then we lost 2 in a row. But there we go. 4-2. 
And, well, we've got another attack here. This could be number five. Delfonso with a cross. Abika. Oh, my God. Where is this coming from? Abika's just scored again. That's his fourth of the game. It's 5-2. Where was this off screen, guys? Like, I've heard of the curse of the live con, but the curse of the off screen game? I'm really confused. What is going on? We've been on fire today. And that is full time. Swindon 5, Birmingham 2. I did not expect that scoreline at the start of today. Bloody hell, wow. That's, uh, that's made me much happier because I was having a torrid time doing these games yesterday. And now, yeah, we, we've destroyed Birmingham. And uh, where is our next game? When is our next game? Okay, so we don't have a game for two weeks. I didn't think that far ahead. Uh, Sendles White is on international duty in between. I think he's playing a game for... It's either Ireland or Northern Ireland he plays for. Okay, yeah, so Sendles White had his first cap for Northern Ireland. Also, he signed a new contract. He's uh, going to be with us till 2020 now. So, uh, yeah, he signed a new deal. He's a first-team defender, at, apparently. All right, here we go. Wolverhampton, not too far ahead of us in the table, actually. Only three points. And the following game is Brentford. So, we could jump a couple of places if we get some good results today. Now the team is looking really good. Some changes we're going to make though. We're going to start Jordan Stewart in place of uh, Mellis. I've also put in Ormond Otwell. That's going to be the two changes we're going to make so far. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. We will uh, get rid of Mayer and we'll put uh, Anson on the bench, seeing as he's back. All right, let's send this team out. And back-to-back uh, -back wins would be delightful. As uh, Matt Hardy would say. Oh, broken Matt Hardy. So, uh, Wolverhampton, what have they got? It came a. Uh, Connor Cody, former Liverpool player. Nathan Miles uh, on the bench. Leandro Rodriguez and a few other players. Go out there and impress everyone, I'm going to say. All right, let's start. Here we go. Wolverhampton. It's at their stadium. Molyneux, that's what it's called. Ten minutes into the game. Jordan Stewart is in possession of the ball. Delfonso has a shot. Good save by Ikeme. We've got a corner. Stewart takes it. It's not a good one. It's headed back to him by Cody and it's out of play. Bambok to Gilliam. And uh, headed clear. But Bambok again has a shot. It's hit the woodwork. It's cleared but only as far as Nathan Miles. The cross is in there. And uh, it's uh, a corner. Yiden with a the block there. Nathan Miles to take the corner ball. It's headed away by Branco. And Stewart now, uh, well, went for it but didn't get it. Well, their goalkeeper might be injured here. They're, it said strained wrist. Now, Kame is carrying a bit of a knock. I don't know if they have a keeper on the bench. But uh, Wolverhampton, Bodvarda, Bodvarsson's on the ball. And McGee collects that. Uh, Grigg is on fire at the moment. He scored a couple of goals against Reading. But do we... We need to get a, ignite a spark here. Cody wins possession there. Doherty. Bomdot will intercept that. O'Hara to Thomas. Abika. Delfonso shot. A save by Akame. I think it was a woodwork, actually. It hit the post. He beat the goalkeeper, but he couldn't find the net. And half-time, it's been pretty end-to-end -end stuff, actually. We're doing well at the moment. We are holding them at their stadium, so keep it going. I want to see a bit more from our strikers, though. And in the second half, we've done the right things. We, you know, we've got possession again. We've had some good chances. Nothing clear-cut, though, which surprises me, even though we've hit the post a couple of times. We've got a throw in here in a good position. O'Hara to Delfonso. Jamie O'Hara is cleared by Buff. Now Mason to Nathan Miles. And now it's Wolverhampton on the attack. They've got plenty of players forward. Bavarsson plays it out wide to Guillaume. And then McGee collects that. Not the best of crosses there. Delfonso. This is really good stuff. Obika. Score. Yes. 1 0. 51 minutes played. This is good stuff. This is what I want to see. We are winning again. And with that, we will overtake Wolves. We've got a positive goal difference and we're in the bottom half. It's kind of strange to be seeing that. Last episode actually knocked us down to zero goal difference. So, uh, and then all those draws in a row meant we stayed at zero. So for a while, we had neutral goal difference. Now, that big win against Birmingham and now we're winning against Wolves. It's improving our goal difference. Which could be a key factor in deciding what happens. I know we'll probably be a mid-table team, so it's no thing about playoffs. But the higher you finish... Have they seriously just scored that? Well, McGee scored it. It's gone down as an own goal. I've got to see this again. So the ball bounced off the post and then McGee just sort of fumbled it into his own net, which... 
What are you doing, guys? Come on. Sort it out. Stuart to O'Hara. Here is Delfonso. Out to Orm Lockwell. Abika. Stuart. Delfonso. Thomas. Delfonso. 2 1. Straight away. We've got a goal back. We've had three goals in the space of about six minutes. Wolverhampton have had three shots and one on target, and their goal wasn't even scored by them. That's better. Taking the lead straight away after the mistake at the back. It was a bit of a strange own goal. Now we are back in the lead. Thompson to Connor Thomas. Bambok makes the tackle. Bob Varson to Connor Cody. Tries to play Bob Varson through, and he has done. <laughs> it's another goal. Literally, in the last 10 minutes, there's been four goals. Oh, we've got a highlight here, but Connor Thomas is injured. It's bruised ribs. Jamie O'Hara. That's a uh, wrong save by the dogs. Right, let's get Thomas off. Uh, we'll bring on uh, Anton Rogers. We've led twice. If we don't win this game, we're going to be a bit annoyed. And now it's Wolves again coming forward. Wait, what's happening? Why is it stopped? What? What is... What the hell? Lag! There were, what is... <laughs> This computer should not be lagging. How are we not? How are we now losing this game? Now they've got a corner. Get rid. What are you doing, guys? Come on! What? Hold on. Why are we on attacking? Why? Why were we on attacking? Right. Substitutions. What the fuck is going on out there? Okay. Right. I'll look at this. Different. Joe Rogers. Ro Rogers has come on and scored a 6.4. I'm doing a sub sub. I'm making some defensive changes right now. What is what has happened? What has happened? We won the last game 5-2. We're now losing 5-2. Who are we? Sunderland? Lose a game by the same margin that you won the last one? Thought that was their thing to do. We look we've led twice in this game. Seriously, I am abs I'm lost for words. I don't know what to say. Ten minutes left. We found ourselves three goals down. Akame holds on to that. I mean, this keeper's injured and he can still do a better job than McGee. Is it Mr. McGee or Mr. Magoo? I think this goalkeeper's blind. Look at those ratings for those defenders. It's absolutely tragic. There's only four minutes left in this game. We're losing this game 5-2. Like, this has been one of the strangest videos I've ever produced. It's the first game we've lost in a while, actually. We were unbeaten, I think, in five games because we drew a lot of games off screen. So we're actually unbeaten in six. <laughs> Sadly, we only won one of those things. We drew the other ones. Well, well, it doesn't really matter if we get a goal because it's going to be a defeat. Full time. Wolverhampton 5, Swindon 2. Far from please. Right, right, I've got to go aggressive here. I'm not happy with that. Why are they stressed? You played shit. Stuart was absolutely dog. I thought we'd be better than Mellis. He was worse than Mellis. Anton Rogers, we sub subbed. Oh, Connor Thomas, luckily, he'll only miss two to four days. So we'll have him back in no time. Well, that, that, that episode was one of the strangest experiences I've had in Football Manager. We, we took the lead. McGee scored an own goal. We took the lead again. Then Bob Varson scored. Then Cavaliero scored. Then Mason scored. Then Bob Varson scored again. And all those goals came... Those Well, the first four goals came in the space of about eight minutes. Five in ten. Literally, literally, there were about five goals in about ten minutes. Okay, so uh, next episode will be well into December. So uh, I will look at doing the games that are going to be around the Christmas level. Okay, so uh, yeah, it will be around December time. So next episode, it'll be... Uh, we'll definitely play that Cardiff game. But it'll be whatever game is either side of it. Uh, we played Villa last time, so I'll try and avoid doing Villa again. We'll play five games off screen. And then hopefully next episode, it'll be Cardiff and Middlesbrough. And um, the Oxford game is after that, but we've already played Oxford in this season, so I don't really want to do it again, despite them being our big rivals. I don't want to face Oxford again. And they're bomb of the table. That's nice to see. Well, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below, leave any comments, and if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, hit subscribe. That was one of the most bizarre experiences I've ever had in Football Manager. Hopefully, we'll have to see it again, because we went from the joys of beating Birmingham 5-2 to then the slump of losing to Wolves by the same margin. Uh, yeah, that was very strange. But um, hopefully we don't see anything like that again. Next episode will be well into December. It'll be around Christmas time. And after that, we'll maybe look at getting some January signings. We'll see what Tim Sherwood has up his sleeve for that. So thank you for watching. 
and hopefully I will see you then. Goodbye.